Ginger is spilled everywhere. Good morning, guys. Believe it or not, but there are actually no deliveries right now. So I can't get coffee. It's not the end of the day. I would love to have it. I woke up at five today and I only got roughly four and a half hours of sleep, which is not bad at all, but coffee, six shots. Yeah, take it. I definitely take it. This is what the New York face has lived on and this is like how we were even able to build the foundation we build in New York. Once you realize that every single day is a new day, regardless, all right? Regardless if it's a Monday or if it's a Saturday night or if it's a Friday night, you're supposed to go out with friends and you're willing to work instead of taking time off because it is Friday night or oh, Sunday I'm supposed to have off, that's a chill day. Once you realize that all days are the same, and if you're willing to put in work, no matter what day it is, you're gonna see crazy progress in whatever you do, whatever the kind of work you do, 100%. Every single day is a new day to kill it. Every single day you wake up and you have new opportunities. Every single day you wake up and it's a new day. Like, straight up, it's a new day. Certain days might be different for you since you're in school and etc. Don't let like a Monday kill your vibe or kill your mood. Like if it's a Monday, sure, it might be rough in school, but when you come home from school, it's like any day, you know what I'm saying? Get, get that working and like, do you understand how many Friday nights I've been home working, not been out with friends, not been out partying, not being out doing dumb stuff and Sundays to take off, you know what I'm saying? Like every day is just a new day. I don't even know what day it is today. I'm not even kidding. It's a Thursday. Obviously, I live a completely different life than most of you guys if you're in school or work in a regular job, I guess. But at the same time, what you choose to do after your work or after your school really defines, in my opinion, who you are, especially on the weekends. Because a lot of people that have a regular job or a lot of people that go to school, you live for the weekend. Like Friday night and Saturday, oh my God, that's the best. And then you're hungover or chilling or doing nothing on Sundays. It's like, what, why? So let me read it back to you without doing any stops. Once you realize that every day is a new day, regardless if it's a Monday or Saturday, and you're willing to work instead of taking time off because it's weekend or you're supposed to be free, you will see crazy progress in whatever you do because every single day is a new day to kill it. Randomly opens the door. Yeah, like he, he didn't knock, no doorbell. Randomly the doors just open and Sensei just walks in. Wait, are you sh like seriously? Like, <laughs> like, that was just it? Yeah. No, like you didn't stay the night here and like you just went out for a second and you came back in? He did not stay the night here. He didn't come last night. Dude, that's no, okay. wow. he didn't come last night. Bro, you're awesome. <laughs> bro, how you doing? Hey, you doing, bro? I knew you guys get up early, so I asked Chad. I'm like, all right, I'll be there early in the morning then. hundred percent. Yeet. Is Yeet. Jasper here? He's sleeping? No, he's sleeping. Too. Well, welcome back to California, bro. I know, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's Shit, like, he just walked in the door. Like, like, I feel like I just gone for like a couple of days. Well, it was a couple of weeks. Yo, please do that more often. Like, Yo, I am so <laughs> down. I'm so down to sit here more often at like 7-ish, <laughs> 30. <laughs> And just like walk in the door. Please do that more often, bro. Please. That's awesome. Give me a wake up. Knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh talking God. about wake up. Um, is any of the bros down to maybe go make a trip somewhere? Because I, I haven't had a coffee yet. Yeah, Are you down? I'm down, dude. Bro, Starbucks? Am I down? You know me, bro. Oh, I love you. I'm always Let's down, go. bro. We guys here a year? Yeah. Remember, Pretty much. I remember. We moved in here in March. I feel like I was barely here. I came back in September, bro. September. Like, that's when I really felt like I, I moved in here. Like, when I came back this time. Yeah, bro, it sucks a little. Because it's such a nice house, a nice area. But I, I only now really got to experience Like, the gym and everything. I only now got to experience it. Because <laughs> my visa took so long. Coffee, boys? Hot chocolate, boys? Oh, true. Hot chocolate. Boys. Well, <laughs> well, still, still. Yay. Guess what time it is. You already know what time it is. It's a gym time. Pull up in a drop top.
bro, I forgot my phone. What do you mean you forgot? <laughs> Rip my workout session, no music. Oh my god. No music? Of course my dumbass brings these, but I don't bring my phone. I'm actually butthurt. I'm actually butthurt. That's so annoying. Oh look at that beautiful thing though. That's exactly the one I had. GTS edition one. Shout out you, whoever has that. Good for you. Well, technically, I can't even get into the gym now. You know the little brick you get from your gym that you scan whenever you get in? I took a picture of that, so I never have to bring it. Yo, and I don't Tico, have a phone. I really need to contact somebody, but I can't text them or call them. So can I just talk to them through your YouTube video? Absolutely. Real quick? Okay, all right. So, Rudy, if you're watching this, dude, I'm really sorry for scheduling a haircut with you two times. Oh, you didn't tell him? <laughs> bro, you can't be doing stuff, bro. Yeah. That's Dude, I, rule number one. Bro, if you can't make it, you have to let the bro. bro I did, I told him. I did, okay? I let him know. That's some dumb shit. I'm sorry, bro. I swear, I texted him, bro, why are you putting me on blast? Yeah. Because, bro, I literally if you literally make an you appointment, text, if you make you didn't it, even let me okay? Finish. That's look, not cool. Look, not look, to Rudy. Look, I, look. Here, see, I texted him. I said, yo, dude, my bad. Can't reschedule, my homie's car broke down. I'm at 4.46, 15 minutes before. Yeah, that's, that's not valid, bro. That's not valid. Going at it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, second drink we shared together today. Yo. That was the basketball session. So good, right here. Shout out to Levi. <laughs> I haven't had basketball shoes. Wait, you got shoes too? Yeah, bro, but I didn't. I couldn't get them till now because I left. Remember? Bro, shout out Levi for hooking up the whole gang with shoes. Can we all drop a thank you, Levi, in the comment section, please? Right. He literally bought these shoes for me. He got basketball shoes. Brand new for Kyrie's, Sensei. and I, I haven't had basketball shoes for like two months, bro. And then he got basketball shoes for. Lucas, he got basketball shoes for Cheo, and he got basketball shoes for Norton. So can we all just take a moment and appreciate our boy Levi? Which also, I have really good news for this year with my man Levi that I'm gonna share on this channel a little bit later. But can we all just, if you're watching this, drop a comment below and say thank you, Levi, because you're the homie. My dream car is still here. Mm. Actually, I want the GTR now. The GTS is not the same anymore since I saw the GTR, but GTS still fire. Do you want me to have your bag back here, bro? I can take your bag if you want. Are you sure? Yeah, it's gonna be too much. All right, but you can come back too. I have space. Just come, just come, just come. You can come, bro. Yep. Damn, okay, bro. Got no regrets, I made mistakes, but I learned from my lessons. My legs are starting to get so sore. But right now, 
I'm gonna make myself. Yep, you already know. Chicken salad. I don't have too much chicken left that I don't really feel like making new ones. So I'm just gonna use whatever I have left. It should be enough chicken to somewhat get some gains, I think. Where's my peppers? Oh, they're already cut up too. Ooh. One min yuatas. One min yuatas. Oh my god. Wish I had a little bit more chicken, but mm. you know what I do too? Hot sauce. It makes it fire. Wow. Add a lot of taste. Makes it really yeah. spicy. Really good sauce though. Bam. Two minutes later, lunch is ready. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. So colorful and it smells so good. Is that chicken on there? Yep. Oh. Grounded chicken. That's all I make now, bro. Grounded chicken, throw it on a salad, fire. That was amazing. But my mouth is on fire, like actually on fire. And I like spicy food. Like I really like spicy food, but oh my God, that's such good spicy sauce, but it also makes it really, really spicy. And as I was sitting here, I get a missed call and it's from South Korea. Why are you calling me? I am so confused. I feel like my lips are very red. It's very spicy in my mouth still, holy. But the salads I'm making though are so fire. I feel so good. I'm staying really lean, still getting protein and still getting all the good veggies. And this is so easy for anyone to make. Like I'm not good in the kitchen, but this anyone can make. And it's so good because whatever veggies you like, you throw in there. I prefer peppers, I prefer cucumber and iceberg salad, but if you prefer any other salad, if you prefer any other veggies, if you prefer turkey, if you prefer grounded beef even, I like to keep it to white meats because it's high in protein, low in fat, but if you like grounded beef, if you like shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Like you can literally add on whatever source of protein you want. Fantastic salad, healthy, good meal to eat, period. I'm upset. I just uploaded a video pretty much my favorite video I've uploaded like back to back 17 and 18 minute vlogs two of my favorite videos I've made I haven't had this low views in the first hour which obviously could change normally if a video starts off bad it's not gonna do too good like literally the first hour most of the time defines a video trust me I feel bad even mentioning it because the support has been crazy I've told you guys how much I appreciate it I truly do I'm literally on here right now responding to comments because they're so awesome it's just I just wanted to pick up the camera because I'm going to be completely honest. It's the first time where I got really like upset. Like I was just started stressing. I started sweating. I'm just looking at the video. I'm like, like 4,000 views in an hour. Bro, 4,000 views in an hour. I can literally post on Snapchat, which I never, ever, ever post on. Or I can post like an Instagram story. I'll get that in a couple of minutes. Like, on, you know what I'm saying? Like, and YouTube where people, it just put down so many hours and YouTube can't even do like a little bit of their part because I still get messages every single day from people saying, hey, your video didn't show up. Bro, I had to go look for your video. I thought you didn't upload because it didn't send out. But luckily, I went to your channel to see it. I don't want you guys to think that I'm unappreciated. Like we're already making moves and I truly, like I can't tell you guys enough how much I appreciate the support because you know, there's a reason I sit and respond to so many comments. Like I truly, like I want you guys to see that I read the comments and I appreciate what you guys are saying because I really do. But there's just certain times where it really gets to me and I wanted to be honest with you guys. So I picked up the camera and I'm explaining to you guys and I'm not saying this to feel bad for myself or anything like that. I know people work really, 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 really hard. I'm just letting you know that it really got to me today and it made me upset. Like I'm not gonna lie. I did past two days, I worked so hard on videos. 18 hour days, like long, 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 long days with editing and way of just like thinking it all out and it's just like lower views than when I uploaded like a couple of weeks ago when I wasn't even like I feel bad but I'm sorry sometimes I'm human too sometimes I let stuff get to me sometimes I get stressed out like I try as I told you guys I make videos because I want to make videos a hundred percent a hundred percent but when you upload every single day and it starts doing a little bit better a little bit better and stuff and then it's just like randomly you upload like in my opinion like my best video so far pretty much and he does worse than any other video I've uploaded in months. Pretty much worse than any video I've uploaded in months. It might kick in again. YouTube might just decide to, hey, let's give this video a push. And it might just get views. But for now, it's doing worse than like pretty much every single video. It makes no sense. Yep, I let it get to me. No, I shouldn't let it get to me. But I did. And now I'm upset. 
and now I just need to figure something out to turn my day around, to be honest. Because obviously I'm not going to sit around and be sad all day or like feel bad for myself. And that's not what this is about. I'm trying to be as real with you guys as possible. Yeah, I let it get to me. I got upset. Not going to lie. Like you work so hard, like literally 15, 20 hour days. And like, just know I'm not stopping. Just know that I'm not going to like let this get to me to the point where I'm not going to make a video. Of course I'm making videos. Of course we're recording every day. I'm just letting you know how I feel right now. Shitty. Every time I'm feeling somewhat like, eh, during the day, I'm boring. No one's going to want to watch me do this. Wait, why am I even recording myself doing this? No one's going to want to see this. I literally, I'm not even kidding. I think about the comments that you guys give me and I go and record it and I go and do it anyways and I go and execute it. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's why, again, I respond to so many comments because they truly, truly push me forward. Like, I don't think you guys understand, like how much I see these comments and I remind myself, trust me, I'm gonna go on my video in just a little bit and probably read a couple comments and I'm gonna feel better. Sorry, I apologize, I feel bad, but it is what it is and I feel the way I feel. Now we just gotta look forward, stay positive and keep grinding, keep making videos. It's honestly every day and I'm not talking Jake Paul. Yep, I'm still here and it's like an hour, hour and a half later. For the past hour to an hour and a half, I've done nothing but responded to comments. You guys, are awesome we might not be the biggest and we might not be the most popular for the outside but trust me like the movement and the things we have going on in my comment section because of you guys incredible like i keep you like there's some positive awesome amazing people in my comment section that's just trying to change their life and trying to better themselves and trying to be better and do good and i hear people waking up early and i hear people going to the gym and buying gym memberships and wanting to go out and appreciate the little thing like it's amazing truly amazing i'm already feeling so much better and that i owe to you guys not because of youtube because the video is still not doing too hot but the comments make up for it thank you thank you thank you those comments like truly 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 sheared me up i'm gonna make myself feel even better I've ate salad for the past, I don't even know how many days. So now I'm gonna make the same chicken I made yesterday. And obviously there's gonna be some salad in it, but I'm gonna enjoy myself and put it in some taco shells cause it's gonna be yummy. Oh, I didn't know these were here. Why did I have to see those? I wasn't supposed to see those. I didn't know I had those. I'm not even kidding. I did not know I had those. Why did I just see those? Why did I see those M&Ms? Cause I really want them now. Do I treat myself some M&M's after the tacos? Probably. Some hard shell tacos for the kid. You can't go wrong. I just broke them. Why did I hit them so hard? <laughs> yep. See, I broke them all. <laughs> Today's just really not my day, huh? I guess we're making burritos instead, or we're mixing it up. The soft shells and the hard shells are in the oven. Just to get them a little crispy and nice, the chicken is done. It takes five minutes, it's the easiest ever. And then put in whatever veggies you want. Unfortunately, I don't have any peppers. You guys know I love my peppers, but cucumber, red onion. Throw in a little bit of ice cream salad there too. It's a mess here. I'm definitely gonna clean up it a little bit. Mom, this is not the cooking video you're watching. Watch the one yesterday. It was a lot better. Nope. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm gonna miss this house. I really am. Even though I am gonna miss this spot and I do like it, I'm very, ready to move on and i'm very ready to find a new spot i know you guys have heard that for quite some time now that we're gonna move and all that but like it's really happening soon because the lease ends in we have february out and that's it and we are trying to move before that like we're trying to get out of here before that because if you know you're moving you might as well move whenever you get the chance so i'm gonna go house looking slash house shopping really soon that's gonna obviously be on camera i'm gonna vlog that bring you guys through that whole process i'm very excited to find a new spot i'm very excited to find a new home and I'm very excited to make myself an insane room. Like my room is gonna be straight vibes, like the best workstation, gaming station, editing, lighting, TV, 
audio. It's gonna be amazing. Like I'm actually gonna put down so much time and effort to it simply because I never really got the chance here. But it's been real. It really has been real. Hey, <laughs> this is the time I wanna be out there. Not in 10 minutes, cause it's gonna be too late. But I have a feeling it's gonna be barely 80 degrees and that needs to be over 90, well over 90 or it's gonna be too cold. 82? So does that mean, uh, Just a couple. Mm. Best candy ever. Don't at me. Peanut M&M's, don't at me. Oh my God. So good. Change of plans. I'm not gonna have time to go in the hot tub. Therefore, I'm gonna enjoy myself some M&M's now, all right? I'm actually being picked up in like five, 10 minutes. We're gonna go support Face and safe karate event in LA. I'm gonna just eat a couple now. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy. She found pictures in my email. I sent this kitchen of my eat. I don't know what it is with females, but I'm not too good at that shit. Just a few more. Just a couple more for the kid. Okay, maybe, maybe like one, maybe like two. Okay, I'll have like a handful more. Three more, since that's about right. Yeah, let's put these away. Let's put these away before I finish the whole bag. When I said I wasn't even gonna bring it, like there's not even gonna be anything to bring. I'm gonna finish it. Let's put these here. I don't, I, why did I see them? Why did I see that bag? That bag, I swear I didn't know that bag was there. Like it's not just something I'm saying for the video. I dead ass did not know that bag was there. And it was a good thing. Cause I love these. I love them so much. Thank God we work out every day. And thank God I don't drink soda or eat anything else unhealthy. We've been literally eating salads for a lot of days. So I guess it's not the biggest deal. We live once. We gotta treat ourselves. Maserati you got. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the amount of people that thought I'd call this a Maserati, bro. <laughs> Diamonds gushed up, the diamonds in the face crushed up, you can say shut up. Diamonds in the face crushed up. Oh my god, his hands? Dude. Bro, he caught him flat. 